we are asked to factor each expression completely. Remember, the first step in any factoring problem is to factor out the greatest common factor. The first expression is 4x squared minus 10x minus 6. The greatest common factor among all three terms is 2. To show this, it may be helpful to write each term as a product with a factor of 2. For example, we can write 4x squared as 2 times 2x squared minus, we can write 10x as 2 times 5x minus, we can write 6 as 2 times 3. This step isn't required, but it may be helpful because now we can see the greatest common factor of 2. We can also see the remaining factors when we factor out 2 from each term. So again, the first step is to factor out the greatest common factor of 2, which leaves us with 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Of course, we can check this if we distribute the 2. We still have 4x squared minus 10x minus 6. The next step is to try to factor the trinomial inside the parentheses. If it does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. So if it does factor, we will have 2 and then times two binomial factors. Don't forget, we do need to include this factor of two in each step of the factoring. Now looking at the trinomial inside the parentheses, this is more challenging than some trinomials because the leading coefficient is not one, the leading coefficient is two. And there are several methods to factor this type of trinomial. We can use trial and error, grouping, as well as bottoms up. Let's try trial and error. Because the first term of the trinomial is 2x squared, and the factors of 2x squared are 2x and x, let's place a 2x in the first position of the first binomial, and a factor of x in the first position of the second binomial. And now to find the terms in the second positions, we cannot just find the factors of negative three that add to negative five, again, because the leading coefficient is not one, it's two. What we have to do is place the factors of negative three in the second positions so that the sum of the inner product and outer product gives us negative 5x. And the factors of negative 3 are negative 3 and positive 1 or negative 1 and positive 3. So again, because we're using trial and error, we will just try something and see if it works. If it doesn't work, we will try something different. Let's say, for example, we place a factor of negative 3 here, which would give us minus 3. If we use the negative three here, we have to place a positive one here, which gives us plus one. And now let's find the two products and see if we get a sum of negative five x. Negative two times positive one is two x, plus negative three times x is negative three x. Well, this sum gives us negative one x or negative x, which is not negative five x. So let's try switching these two factors. Let's place the minus three here and the plus one here. And let's try it again. The outer product is now two x times negative three, which is negative six x, plus the inner product is one times x or one x, and a negative six x plus one x or just plus x does give us negative five x, which is what we want, and therefore this is now factored correctly. So the final factored form is two times the quantity two x plus one times the quantity x minus three. If we happen to change the order of the product of the two binomials, it is still factored correctly because of the commutative property of multiplication. Let's take a look at a second example. Here we have 18 x cubed minus 33 x squared plus 12 x. The greatest common factor among all three terms is three x, and let's show this by writing each term as a product using a factor of three x. 18 x cubed is equal to three x times six x squared minus 33 x squared is equal to three x times 11 x plus 12 x is equal to three x times four. Again, this step is optional, but it can be helpful to factor out the greatest common factor correctly. We are now going to factor three x out of the trinomial, and we can see the remaining factors from each term. We factor out three x from the original trinomial. We have six x squared minus 11 x and plus four. 
Notice now the only common factor among the three terms inside the parentheses is one, and therefore we know three x is the greatest common factor. And now if it does factor further, the trinomial inside the parentheses will factor into two binomial factors. The first term inside the parentheses is six x squared. We need to place the factors of six x squared in the first positions of the two binomials, so we could have a six x and an x, or a three x and a two x. Let's try three x and two x. The second positions, the second positions must be the factors of negative four, so that the sum of the inner product and outer product give us negative 11 x. Because the sum must be negative, we know we must use negative factors of positive four. So we can use negative four times negative one or negative two times negative two. Let's try negative two and negative two. If we use those two factors, we would have a minus two here and a minus two here. The outer product is negative six x. The inner product is negative four x. And negative six x plus negative four x is negative 10 x, which is not negative 11 x. This is not the correct factored form. And actually, we should have recognized that right away because there's no way we can place a two here because if we did notice how these two terms of the binomial have a common factor of two, there cannot be a common factor in either binomial if we've already factored out the greatest common factor. So let's try negative four and negative one. If we place the negative four minus four here, we'd have a common factor of two, which cannot be the case. Let's place the minus four with the three x and we'll place the minus one with the two x. And now let's sum the inner and outer products. We have three x times negative one, which is negative three x, plus negative four times two x, which is negative eight x. And notice how negative three x plus negative eight x is negative 11 x, which is the middle term, and therefore this is factored correctly. The final factored form is three x times the quantity three x minus four, times the quantity two x minus one. I hope you found this helpful.